Did you know that Karl Marx was a racist? And don't take my word for it, here's a black guy to tell you. While addressing a group of fees must fall students, the former SRC leader said the ANC government has failed us as black people. Controversial member of the ANC Youth League, Misembo Diamini? accused this party of being the enemy of black people, and the long-dead socialist philosopher Karl Marx of being racist. I should really put a clip of John Cena in this. <laughs> he said while addressing wits protesting students on Midnight on Wednesday, the students are protesting free education institutions of higher learning. Former WITS SRC president said the ANC-led government is the enemy of black people for failing to provide a free education in higher institutions of learning. Diamini also slated academics who take pride in Marxism, the philosophy that underpins much of the thinking behind communist societies. Marx was well known for his critique of capitalism, especially where it relates to the production of mass consumer goods and the alienation of individuals in favour of big business. Marx, however, was born in the 17th century in Germany, and Diamini argues that the philosopher did not speak to us, and that in order to decolonise the South African education system, there needs to be literature that speaks to us. Now, I completely agree. I mean, if one way of decolonising South Africa is extracting the Marxism, I am totally in support of this initiative. He says, when they say decolonised curriculum, they mean those that are studying politics, studying Karl Marx. Karl Marx never spoke to us as black people, and more importantly, he was white, wasn't he? Karl Marx was a racist himself. He spoke about Germany and Europe. When we say decolonization, we are saying exchange Marxism to include Soweto, Alexandra, and Komfim Vaba, because it is not speaking to us. Well, that's not what I would recommend. I would recommend um, just exchange Marxism for literally any other political philosophy, practically. Just a anything that will fail to impoverish your country. Because Marxism will succeed in impoverishing your country. Just, I'm just letting you know. Because every other example of it through history has done exactly that. I mean, I'm, it, you might be different. They, I mean, I'm, I, you, you sound like you might think about Kangs every now and again. So it, maybe you're the special race. But everyone else has had this problem with Marxism. Regardless of race. And it's been everywhere. So just that's not the idea that I would go with. Because I'm... I'm not a communist, and I don't want to be poor. I, and I, more importantly, I don't want the people around me to be poor either. But let's talk about Karl Marx being a racist, because that's, a, that's an interesting thing, because, of course, you'll never hear about this from the people who are concerned about racism and yet are also neo-Marxists. So, for example, in a July 1862 letter to Engels, he wrote, It is now completely clear to me that he, as is, is proved by his cranial formation and his hair, descends from the Negroes of Egypt, assuming that his mother or grandmother were not interbred with a nigger. Now this union of Judaism and Germanism with a basic nigger substance must, I can't believe I'm reading this with a straight face, must produce a peculiar product. The obtrusiveness of the fellow is also nigger-like. <laughs> Regarding Mexicans and the Mexican-American War, he wrote, Without violence, nothing is ever accomplished in history. It is a misfortune that magnificent California was seized from the lazy Mexicans, who did not know what to do with it. My god, I can't believe the stereotype has persisted for that long. On Jews he said, What is the worldly religion of the Jew? Huckstering! <laughs> what is his worldly god? Money! Money is the jealous god of Israel in the face of which no other god may exist. That is pretty fucking red-pilled, I'm not gonna lie. Money degrades all the gods of man and turns them into commodities. This bill of exchange is the real god of the Jew. His god is only an illusory bill of exchange. A chimerical nationality of the Jew is the nationality of the merchant, <laughs> of the man in money in general. Fucking hell, that, mo that moment when you realise that Karl Marx would have been browsing Paul. <laughs> and even further, he explains, in the final analysis, the emancipation of the Jew is the emancipation of mankind from Judaism. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which, according to some critics, suggests he's arguing that man can only be free when Jews no longer exist, according to the Philosopher's Magazine. Fuck me. I can only imagine how many, what the fuck, I love Karl Marx now, memes there are going to be. <laughs> Just... 
and in 1856 they're taking it a step further. Thus we find every tyrant backed by a Jew, as every pope is backed by a Jesuit. In truth, the cravings of oppressors would be hopeless and the practicability of war out of the question if there were not an army of Jesuits to smother thought and a handful of Jews to ransack pockets. The real work is done by the Jews and can only be done by them, as they monopolise the machinery of the loan-mongering mysteries by cr concentrating their energy upon the vast trade in securities. So you are saying that Hitler was right, there's a worldwide Jewish conspiracy to control the money, is what Marx thought. Many would argue that Marx's 19th century rate views on race are outdated. <laughs> You'd be surprised how outdated ideas come back around. 